Good morning, happy Wednesday. What a glorious Wednesday it is. It's beautiful outside. And Penelope and I are on our morning walk and she's being nosy back here in the corner. Come on. I was trying to peek through the fence to see if I could see Rebecca. I don't see any chickens, none. But the person who owns the chicken is not the person who lives in the house. It's all a very confusing situation, okay? Because one brother owns the house, another brother has the chickens, and she's another brother's wife. And yeah, they're all just, oh, I tripped. Um, they're all just family living there, but they're not technically their chickens, so. I don't know if Rebecca is okay. I don't know. I mean, Naomi said he is, and she brought me a bunch of eggs the other day. Well, four, because we were gonna make brownies, I think. And I think that's the last thing we made. And I told her, I said, we can make the brownies, but I don't have any eggs. And she said, oh, we got eggs. We got a ton of eggs, because we have chickens. And I said, well, bring four eggs and we'll make the brownies. So that's what she did. And they appear to be fresh eggs. You know, fresh eggs have a much oranger, is that a word, oranger, orangier? Orangier, mm -hmm. yolk, than store-bought eggs. Cause they get sunshine and stuff and worms from the ground and they're not just fed scratch all the time. So yeah, anyway, um. They're out cutting the grass. This is, hey, this is gonna mess up my storytelling because I don't want to talk on my camera in front of them. So I'll be back, okay? Okay. This is how it's, this is how it's going, baby. And she keeps wanting to lean her head further back because she's trying to push her off the couch. Oh, she says, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. You know you are. Yeah, say so, yeah, say so, you've been pushing on me. So I'm just laying here having a good time and you're pushing on me with your big old head. And I'm just trying to lay next to mama. Yeah, I've been trying to put my cat eyes over her eyes. But <laughs> she won't be still long enough. I saw a picture where this lady took her cat eye fingers and put them over her cat's eyes and yeah. Yeah, so I won't be still long enough. Ain't that right? She's being sweet. Uh, don't look at that half-painted wall, okay? I'll be back. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. What you want? Is this what you want? You want a little bee bite? You want a little bee bite? <coughs> huh, you can only have a little bitty bite. <coughs> yeah. not have any more the last time you had more than a little bitty bite you threw up yeah no you can't have any more I know they're delicious but I think it's too much for your little delicate system okay so no you can't have any more you have to eat your dog food okay I'm sorry it's just the way it is mommy doesn't want you to get sick yeah, and mommy doesn't want her baby to get sick. Yes. You're beautiful, though, with that little tooth sticking out. That little toothers. That little toothers sticking out right there. It's just beautiful. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Naomi. I can't find the eggs, Miss Tracy. I can't find the eggs. Also, Naomi. Honey. Those are not gonna be good in the refrigerator <laughs> exposed when you come back. Bless her, bless her. Hi, now we can finish in peace and quiet and serenity now. Yes, okay, first of all, it is October. My little girl, Penny, has not had fleas all summer. No, when I took her to the vet, when was that? In June, 
they gave me a drop to put between her shoulder blades of some prescription something. Can't remember the name of it. And she's gone all summer without one flea. Now she's got fleas. I'm like, it's the freaking end of October. Why am I having to worry about fleas now? Ugh. Anyway, so I'm on the way to the vet. I'm hoping I can pick up some or at least order some. And I will probably give her a Dawn bath. Dawn dish soap kills fleas. And I know it dries their skin, so I follow it up with a good moisturizer. Uh, yes. So, to moisten, there's that word, moisten up her skin some. Yes. And then I've got to go to the doctor. Okay, so last night, the girls came over. Now, she, Phoenix showed up first, and she was wrapped in this little throw blanket that has some character on it. I can't even remember. And I said, did you bring your blanket because Miss Tracy's house is cold? <laughs> Maybe I keep it too cold, okay? And she said, yeah. I said, okay, I get it. But to be fair, I mean, it was like 78 degrees outside yesterday. Uh, so I did have the air going because my house is weird. It takes all day to warm up. But then when it, when it warms up, then it, um, I have to turn on the air. So I'm not one of those rule people that you can't turn on the heat or air until a certain date or time because my house, no, I, I turn on my air sometimes at night because I like my house to be cold at night because I like to snuggle down under the covers and then when I wake up because it's colder outside, then I have to turn the heat on because my house is like 59 degrees. And if I don't turn the heat on, it will be like 62 in the house by noon. So I like to get the chill off. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a rule person. I mean, like I'm a rule person, but I'm not a rule person on stuff like that. You have to follow certain rules and laws, but that's not a rule I have to follow. I make my own rules. My heat, my rules. <laughs> I can do what I want. Moving on. So, then Naomi comes in, in a mood. It's like she's already a teenager, you know what I'm saying? She comes in in a mood and she's like, take the blanket back home. I said, why does she have to take her blanket back home? She needs to take it back home. I said, why? See, there again, the rules. Why does she have to take it back home? Because, because I said, it's fine, okay? If she wants to bring her little throw over, it's fine. She can take it back home. I'll make sure she takes it back home. I'm the one that bought it, okay? I bought you each one. If you wanna bring your throw, that's fine too. Well, anyway, once we got past that, she sat on the couch and was, and I said, look, if you're gonna pout, you can go back home and we'll have fun without you because I'm not putting up with it. And she was like, I said, what would you like to do tonight if you plan on staying? And she said, can we roast marshmallows? I said, we absolutely can. If everybody's happy and gonna get along, we can roast marshmallows. And she was like, okay. So we went out in the backyard and look, I'm so redneck or whatever you wanna call it. I don't have a fire pit. I have a literal spot in my yard where I burn stuff. It's the burn pile. So like when Tommy's cutting grass or you know doing whatever, he takes the limbs to the burn pile and then when he gets up enough, we can only burn between October 1st and I think it ends April 30th. After May 1st, you can't burn again legally. So, uh, he had recently burned everything in the burn pile that he had collected all summer, so it was nice and clean. So, 
I have had these logs out there that have been out there forever. So I said, let's go get the logs. And Miss Carolyn told me to use bacon grease as a starter. So I put some bacon grease on some paper, rolled up paper and stuff, lit right up. And the wood had been out there so long that it was pretty much dried out. So I showed them how to build a proper fire. The first one was no good because um, Naomi was jumping ahead as she always does and just kind of threw the logs on there. And I said, look, you have to get oxygen underneath for there to be fire. So let's build a little teepee with the logs and then start the fire or restart the fire. So we had quite the campfire and sadly we didn't have any big marshmallows. We only had the little bitty one, the little bitty ones. And they had to uh, put them on the skewer like a cluster. It was like a cluster of grapes, but a cluster of marshmallows on the end of the stick. Phoenix kept saying, why is the smoke following me? And I said, smoke follows beauty. And she said, I'm not beauty. I'm Phoenix. <laughs> I said, Phoenix. And beauty means you're beautiful. And she was like, I don't want to be beautiful. I want the smoke to leave me alone. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. I don't know why smoke tends to gravitate towards people. It's probably our carbon monoxide or something but I don't know what to tell you this is why I'm standing up so I can walk away from it because it does tend to like gravitate towards us so we got that situation under control got her moved and we had to move the chair a few more times and all is well we got that situation handled but we had a great time but they started singing and they're loud and I was like, y'all need to be quiet. Y'all need to be way quieter with the singing because Miss Joan is asleep. Naomi said, it's 7.30. <laughs> I'm aware of what time it is, but I'm also aware of what time Miss Joan goes to bed. So, shh, shh, please take it down. Well, then Miss Joan comes outside with Rosemary and I was like, well, we woke her up. And uh, so Joan called me over to help her with something this morning. And I said, did we wake you up singing? And she said, well, they woke Rosemary up. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I said, I told them to be quiet. And they said, but it's only 7.30. And I was like, I mean, you have a point. <laughs> anyway, I'm at the vet's office, so I'll end it here. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy, and I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles. Stay silly, my friends, and smile. Piss people off, make people happy, or just make them wonder what you've been up to. Goodbye.